It was a spark that lit the tragedy in Tlahuelilpan, a small community in the state of Hidalgo in central Mexico that has been a target of oil burglary called Huachicoleo. It was the ugliest thing of my life. I was told, look, it already exploded. They were getting gasoline and I said, oh, I hope nobody gets burned, but I never imagined that my son would be there. Her son, Alan Josset, is a 15-year-old high school student who enjoyed his hobbies. I liked a lot to fix my cars and motorcycles. I liked to play soccer with my cousins. It was different. It never crossed his mind that on the night of Friday, January 18th, an unexpected event would change his life forever. My cousin said, soldiers are giving gasoline away, so we went, we came with other relatives and friends. According to Alan, he went to the place where gasoline was being given out because at the time, oil was scarce due to the government measures to stop gasoline burglary. He rejects every accusation that claims he was a huachicolero. Then, hours later, huachicoleros opened the pipeline. At the time, there was no gasoline available, so my cousins and I didn't have any for the car. So they wanted to get some, and I wanted a little bit for the car. Rosalina, Alan's mother, doesn't hesitate to defend her son's innocence. People talk and accuse them of being huachicoleros. They don't know what happened. He's a curious 15-year-old, like many others who were there. Alan and two cousins got trapped in the huge explosion that killed more than 130 people. But the cause of the explosion has not been determined. Un ruido muy fuerte. It was a very strong noise and everything was ugly. Then after I came out from the explosion, I looked for my cousin and he helped me walk like a kilometer and walk to the ambulances. Finding out her oldest son went to get some gasoline was the beginning of this mother's nightmare. I arrived at the place and, well, it was horrible, the place, what can I say? It was more than 10 meters high, so huge. All the people were screaming and burning. Because of the smoke, it was dark. Uncertainty, desperation and fear marked the following hours as Rosalina searched for her son. I couldn't find him at any hospital. I imagined that my son remained there, turned into ashes. I thought the worst. It was a huge anguish, so big, I felt my life was over right there. No sé. Sentí que mi vida se acababa ahí. Hours later, she tracked him down at a hospital. Her nephew did not survive and her son was covered in bandages and in terrible pain. While his life hung from a thread, a window of hope opened in Galveston, Texas. If my son is going to die, doctor said he was going to die in two hours, but still can't fight for his life, let's go. If he dies fighting for his life, he dies fighting. Virginia Sendel knows firsthand the horrible suffering experienced by children who have been burned. When an accident happened, my grandchildren got burned and I found out there were not enough doctors who knew how to correctly treat a burned child. I had to go through that to know it was not like that. So she founded Mitri Mouth for Burned Children Foundation and has dedicated 21 years to save their lives thanks to an alliance with the renowned Shriners Hospital in Galveston, Texas. They go to Shriners and are treated in every way for free. Their medicines, surgeries, all the treatments they require until they turn 18 years of age. The day after the explosion, Alan and his mom were traveling to Texas. During the process, there were times when hope for Alan's survival seemed lost and terror took over Rosalina. My son had been there for a month and a half when I phoned home and asked to get everything ready because I thought he would die. In that moment, I offered my life in exchange for my son's. It was painful. Alan and three other miners with serious burns from the Tlahuelilpan explosion traveled to Shriners Hospital in Texas to be treated. Unfortunately, two of them died. After three months in the intensive care unit and 15 surgeries that cost around a million dollars, today Alan is a symbol that there is hope for recovery for burned children when they are properly treated. 
I am so happy for this opportunity that everybody who supported me has given me. I am very happy. Today, Alan has all the support to take care of the physical and emotional scars. He will be traveling back to Galveston in November to continue his treatments. Paulina Gomez-Bulchiner in Mexico City, U-News.